is cold and silent. I like it better that way. Any faint sound seems to irritate me. Waves of pain come and go, rushing through my body. My emotions are mixed as I think of the past, present, and future. Anxiety settles in. In the room with me is my mother, a woman whose bravery compelled her to escape violence and leave her home country behind, bringing my sister and I along with her for a better life. Growing up, my mother wanted to be a pilot, but life had taken her in a different journey. I thought of the times that I felt so connected to my mother. Even now, as an adult growing up, we didn't spend much time together, but I always felt that we shared the same fears, the same triumphs, and the same heartache. I felt we were intertwined. My mind rushes to the times that I yelled and I screamed. This is your fault. Why did you bring me here? They called me illegal. They laughed at me. But even despite all of that, my mother is here, holding my hand. Later on, they would call me a dreamer, the perfect immigrant, and applaud my excellent English and my many academic awards, at the same time criminalizing my mother and erasing her story. In other words, the bad immigrant. Another wave of pain rushes through my body. And I look to Marcela, the other woman in the room. Her gaze is full of love and wisdom. Her story, similar to that of my mother, leaving her home country to meet her husband in order to live a better life with her three sons. Later, she would share with me that as a young girl growing up in Hidalgo, she dreamt of becoming a bilingual secretary. Holding my hand, is a man who shares in all of my hopes and fears. We met fighting for justice together, looking for answers, because they called us dreamers. And they used our stories, but didn't give us access. Because they called him a dreamer, but didn't do much when he almost lost his life to cancer as a man without papers. But here he was, this resilient man, the product of a likewise resilient family and community. They called us dreamers, but didn't understand our reality, that on any given day, our families could be separated with a knock at the door or a routine traffic stop. The sad reality was that one day, his father might not make it home after a long day of work in the sun. That the color of our parents' skin and their accents, their will to thrive and survive wasn't good enough in some people's eyes. What would I tell my brothers and sisters if our mother was suddenly ripped from our arms? How could I look them in the eyes? I would feel so defeated looking into their broken hearts, in their eyes. Family separation without justification. This is our reality. The anxiety heightens, and I take a deep breath. And I push. A beautiful cry pierces the silence and breaks through my deepest fears. My son is here. The anxiety disappears and calmness replaces it, as I imagine it did on a similar day with Marcela and my own mother. They called me a dreamer, only ever seeing what they wanted to see fabricating the idea of a perfect immigrant that simply didn't exist. They called me a dreamer, but failed to recognize that my dreams were inherited, and failed to recognize and acknowledge their beautiful source. 